It is the first object we have found coming from interstellar space, from places beyond our own solar system. For decades, humans have been exploring space and it is usually us who visit the edges of the solar system and beyond to discover things we cannot observe with a conventional telescope. The general idea is that things exist in space and we just have to go looking for them. However, the discovery of Aumuamua changed all that. This incredible visitor from deep space has been the subject of much discussion in recent weeks. But now, the James Webb Telescope has just shown the first real image of this space giant and revealed things no one expected. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, and turn on the notification bell. Aumuamua is a strange and interesting object that emerged from the depth of space and captured the attention of the whole world. Was confirmed, everyone wanted to know more about it, as nothing similar had ever been discovered before. This elongated cigar-shaped visitor, or as some call it, a cosmic needle, arrived in our solar system from a distant realm beyond our own. It is basically a mysterious traveler venturing through the vastness of space to pay us a fleeting visit. Its particularly strange appearance, similar to a thin cigar, makes it unlike anything we have ever encountered before. This amazing find took place on October 19, 2017, when the only telescope in Hawaii was observing the night sky and revealed the presence of Aumuamua. It was a monumental event, as it marked the first time astronomers detected an object from outside our solar system. And the most incredible thing was that it actually reached our solar system and headed straight for Earth. The unexpected arrival of Aumuamua was undoubtedly one of the most significant events that had ever occurred. It was of utmost importance to investigate it throughout, as it seemed to be the key to unlocking the mysteries of our cosmic environment. That is why a real image of this object is so relevant. While imaging is a great thing, scientists have taken steps to leverage the James Webb Space Telescope to study interesting objects as they traverse our solar system. As the first of its kind, this telescope stands out for its exceptional ability to analyze infrared, making it an invaluable tool for research. Equipped with state-of-the-art technology, high resolution, and extraordinary sensitivity, the James Webb has an unmatched ability to observe objects that are at great distances or that other telescopes cannot see. This exceptional sensitivity and power provide a unique opportunity to fully immerse oneself in the mysteries of the objects of interest, to unveil their chemical composition and discover their true nature. All of this would be virtually impossible to study from Earth if we were to simply observe the object without obtaining a highly detailed image. The James Webb Space Telescope has an advanced infrared camera array that adds additional precision capability when portraying objects of interest. Thanks to its sharp vision, the telescope is able to capture intricate details and nuances, painting a vivid picture of these captivating celestial visitors that venture within our observing range. Although the photographs obtained cannot be complete in a single shot, the telescope can combine hundreds and thousands of images to even create a mega image that shows every little detail you want to see. By being able to capture fainter, more elusive aspects of this interesting object, the Webb Telescope allows scientists to conduct groundbreaking research and unlock secrets hidden deep in the cosmos. But that's just the beginning. The Webb Telescope expands the frontiers of exploration, allowing scientists to peer into the depths of space at magnitudes and levels of brightness that were previously unattainable, opening the door to truly fascinating scientific investigations and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding of the universe. That is why the James Webb Telescope was chosen instead of the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope to carry out this research. This does not mean that the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope is no good at what it does. They are just quite different. The University of Hawaii's Pan-STARRS-1 telescope is a remarkable astronomical instrument located atop Haleakea on the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. With a diameter of 1.8 meters, it plays a vital role in the ambitious Pan-STARRS project, a collaboration between institutions including the University of Hawaii, Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, MIT, Maui Lincoln Laboratory, and Maui International High Performance Applications Corporation. 
At its core, the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope is designed to capture wide-field astronomical images, offering a broad perspective on space. The primary mission of the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope is to conduct comprehensive surveys of the night sky, capturing the beauty of the heavens at optical wavelengths. From distant galaxies to nebulae to the elusive comets and asteroids, this telescope tirelessly explores the cosmos, documenting the wonders that populate our vast universe. One outstanding facet of the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope is its dedication to the study of near-Earth objects. This ambitious project focuses on systematically scanning the entire sky, north declination of minus 47.5, looking for objects close to our planet that may represent potential danger. In fact, that is why he was the first to discover Aumauma. He was not specifically looking for that particular object, but was simply doing his job and, in the process, came across Aumauma. When an object is detected orbiting the Sun, it is normally classified as an asteroid, so Oumuamua was seen as one due to its peculiar appearance and behavior. It appeared to be a strange rock traversing the solar system, which justified its classification. However, as the collected data were processed and analyzed, it became clear that this mysterious interstellar traveler defied all expectations. It abruptly altered its trajectory, raising intriguing questions about its true nature. But this is where the situation became increasingly urgent due to the rapid speeds at which Oumuamua crossed our solar system. The researchers faced a challenge of daunting proportions. They have only 11 days to gather as much information as possible about this peculiar visitor before it got too far away to study. With each passing day, the opportunity to collect data is shrinking. The need for efficient analysis was growing as any delay could impede their understanding of this extraordinary phenomenon. NASA, known for making effective use of time, used powerful resources to shed light on Aumuamua's characteristics. The large telescope located in Chile was a formidable instrument charged with accurately measuring the objects I mentioned, capturing its orbit, and investigating its color and brightness. Every detail of the surface and structure of this primordial rock was crucial considering that it was a complete new and unimaginable object. It was imperative that the researchers capture as much data as possible so they could process it and study it in depth in the future. Over several decades, mankind has been actively exploring the far reaches of the solar system and beyond. Traditionally, it is we who make journeys to investigate what lies in distant space, things that cannot be perceived with a conventional telescope. The fundamental idea is that such cosmic entities exist, occupying their place in space, and we need only travel there to unlock their secrets. However, the discovery of Oumuamua has shaken all of these conceptions, causing a drastic change that has perplexed the scientific community. Neil deGrasse Tyson has presented real images of Oumuamua, the first tangible evidence of the object. If one intends to contemplate the future of civilization, it is imperative to include an asteroid safeguard plant, and this connects to the enigma of Oumuamua, an interesting object of enigmatic nature that has puzzled astronomers for a long period of time. As we embark on a most exceptional journey, we delve into the very essence of existence, where the enigmas of Oumuamua hold their anticipated revelation. In 2017, an unparalleled astronomical event was found. We detected an object that, according to our beliefs, had its origin beyond our own solar system. Its prominence became a matter of controversy. Was it a comet despite its singular orbit? Or was it an asteroid given that it lacked a discernible trail? Perhaps it was something completely unusual, a traveler from another galaxy. And was it the first of its kind? It was named Oumuamua, which translates as messenger from the distant past in Hawaiian, and this discovery became a magnificent achievement that gave us a glimpse into the objects present in space. However, Neil deGrasse Tyson, driven by his own conceptual and ignoring the extensive research done by other experts in this field, has embarked on a public campaign to convince the world of the most incredible explanation for this natural phenomenon of extraterrestrial origin. For nearly four years, 
Neil deGrasse Tyson has been omnipresent in the media, seeking popular support for a theory that defied established scientific evidence. This theory differs from the prevailing belief, including that put forth in Avi Loeb's new book about extraterrestrial evidence as the first sign of life beyond Earth. However, as a scientist, a simple analysis of the evidence shows why this possibility lacks validity. Every object under the gravitational influence of the Sun will follow one of four specific orbits according to the laws of gravity. A circular orbit with an eccentricity of zero, an elliptical orbit with an eccentricity greater than zero but less than one, a parabolic orbit with an eccentricity exactly equal to one, or a hyperbolic orbit with an eccentricity greater than one. Prior to 2017, we found some objects with eccentricities of one or more, but these differed only slightly from one, such as 1.001 1 .001 or similar, even with the influence of Jupiter. The fastest moving object within the solar system, which escaped the sun's gravity, albeit by a small margin, has an eccentricity of 1.06. Oumuamua, on the other hand, revealed an unusually high eccentricity of about 1.2, corresponding to an escape velocity of 26 kilometers per second. The speed made it the fastest object to exit the solar system. An escape at such high speed would be impossible even through a gravitational interaction with planets such as Jupiter or Neptune, unless these planets did not get in the way of Oumuamua's path. This strongly suggests that Oumuamua had to have originated outside our cosmic neighborhood. Oumuamua could be a fully functional probe sent to the vicinity of Earth by an extraterrestrial civilization. This hypothesis was put forward in a report that has been accepted for publication in the astrophysical journal Letters. The possibility that Oumuamua has an artificial origin is contemplated. One theory suggests that it could be a light sail floating in interstellar space, conceived as an advanced technology that could be powered by solar radiation. Abraham Loeb, professor and chair of the Department of Astronomy and Chuel Bialy, postdoctoral scientist, both of the Smithsonian Center of Astrophysics at Harvard, are the authors of this paper. Loeb has contributed for four books and more than 700 papers covering topics ranging from black holes to the future of the cosmos, the search for extraterrestrial life and star formation too. The article argues that a similar light signal has been observed on Earth. Initially, researchers assumed that the faint moving light was a typical comet or asteroid that had originated in our own solar system. Comets, for example, in particular, experience an increase in velocity due to the outgassing process, where the comet's surface is heated by the sun, resulting in the release of molten gas. However, Oumuamua stood out by lacking a coma, which is the atmosphere and dust that surrounds the comet as they break apart. Several telescopes focused on it for three nights to try to find out more before it disappeared. Although there is no tangible evidence to directly support Oumuamua's extraterrestrial origins, the exceptional characteristics of this object generate intriguing theories and imaginative possibilities. Based on the declassified photos, Neil deGrasse Tyson made some arguments that its unique shape and elongated dimensions indicate a singular purpose. In addition, its unusual trajectory and considerable speed suggest the existence of a possible propulsion system beyond what we know. The fact that Oumuamua comes from another star system raises questions about the possibility of advanced civilizations in the universe. Speculation revolves around the notion that Oumuamua could be a probe sent by an extraterrestrial civilization to investigate and study other star systems. In addition, the lack of a coma or trail which is often associated with comets, adds to the mystery surrounding its composition and origin. Oumuamua's peculiar rotation motion, which suggests that it is not a natural object, further stirs the imagination as to how a spacecraft might behave during a journey involving complex bands. In this context, the idea of a functional solar sail 
which could provide obvious acceleration due to solar radiation, has been raised. However, current estimates of the sale in the Oumuamua case may require revision, as the actual solar cell would be noticeably thinner than what has been proposed in current research. The possibility of a spacecraft combining a structure with a cell implies that, although the total mass may be considerable, the sail must be extremely light to be viable for interstellar travel. Despite this, the true source of Oumuamua remains unknown, adding a layer of puzzlement to the equation. Tracing Oumuamua's trajectory becomes a challenge that faces concrete obstacles beyond a certain point due to the constant motion of stars in space. Even if an extraterrestrial civilization were to attempt to plot a course spanning such a vast distance, it would encounter similar difficulties. NASA has issued an alert about Oumuamua, indicating that it is heading towards Earth and shows no sign of veering off course. When in 2017, the presence of an unknown flying object with a particular orbit was announced, it has caused great commotion. After detailed analysis, scientists determined that this object of alien origin came from somewhere between the stars and interstellar space. Now, the situation is becoming more worrisome, as experts warn about the possible impact of this object on our planet. Some theories even suggest that it could be an extraterrestrial spacecraft, which adds even more uncertainty. Are aliens watching us? Should we fear that an alien race is planning our destruction or conquest? It is time to reflect. Do we believe in the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations? Could they be completely oblivious to our existence occupying a distant corner of the universe? Let us contemplate what these alien life forms might be like. While we are evolved primates, extraterrestrial species could be reptiles, insects, or even a combination of both, or something completely different and unimaginable. The only way to find out would be through direct observation, but so far we have not yet found a means to do so. However, in 2017, we came across a probe of extraterrestrial origin, which has captured the attention of scientists around the world. This cigar-shaped object has traveled around the center of the solar system, approaching about 15 million kilometers from Earth. The sighting of this object was a stunning surprise, as we did not anticipate encountering something like this in our vicinity. However, there is now evidence that Oumuamua is heading towards Earth, driven by a force that does not originate in our solar system. Stay tuned as we present scary new evidence for this, revealing the possible and terrifying reasons why Oumuamua will make a direct impact on Earth. But before we dive in, let's explore some crucial context. Since the 2017 incident, scientists including astronomer Avi Loeb of Harvard University have taken a keen interest in studying Oumuamua and similar objects. Professor Loeb, with a PhD in plasma physics, has investigated the seafloor for signs of extraterrestrial visitation. He has even speculated on the possibility that Oumuamua was an otherworldly spacecraft. It is important to note that Earth scientists have already launched space probe such as Voyager and the New Horizons project to collect data about space and other planets. In theory, extraterrestrial probes could be similar scientific devices, whether they come from another planet or on our own. However, our experts lack the technology and knowledge necessary to send a probe into space and bring it back to Earth. Therefore, astronomers and physicists are working hard to understand how extraterrestrial spacecraft might navigate interplanetary space and how we might intercept their possible messages. If an extraterrestrial civilization wanted to send a probe to Earth, it would face two major obstacles, distance and time. For example, extraterrestrial probes sent from the Andromeda Galaxy, our nearest galactic neighbor, would have a daunting 2.5 million light years journey ahead of them. To put this in context, one light year equals a distance of approximately 6 trillion miles. If a terrestrial wished to ensure that the probe arrived back on Earth before their civilization collapsed, 
they would have to find means of traveling at speeds faster than the speed of light. Is it plausible that they would have developed technologies such as hypothetical wormholes or distortion engines, or perhaps other innovations based on higher thought unknown laws of physics? Even if the terrestrials would overcome the challenge of interstellar travel, they would face other considerable obstacles. For example, they would need to build probes capable of withstanding the effect of space radiation and space debris. It would be essential to develop state-of-the-art materials with increased toughness and hardness to ensure endurance during their prolonged journey. Scientists like Professor Loeb are dedicated to understanding how these spacecraft would navigate interstellar distances and how we might intercept their potential communications. However, the challenges related to distance, time, and materials engineering pose considerable hurdles that any extraterrestrial civilization would have to overcome. But to prepare for the eventual return of Muamua and its possible collision with Earth, we need to understand what this object really is. Why is this object called Oumuamua so peculiar? What have we discovered about it so far? In the fall of 2017, an enigmatically shaped object known as Oumuamua passed through the inner solar system, passing so close to the sun. The significance lies in the fact that it was the first known object to originate outside our solar system. Astronomers designated it as Oumuamua, being the first interstellar object discovered in our solar system. However, it is now commonly referred to as Oumuamua. For a long time, astronomers have been anticipating the arrival of an interstellar object similar to Oumuamua. NASA's then Associate Administrator for Science, Thomas Surbaken, stated in 2017 that they had strong evidence for the existence of interstellar objects like Oumuamua. Another interstellar object was discovered in August 2019, unlike Oumuamua, appeared to behave like a typical comet, showing a tail in a coma formed by gas and dust around an icy nucleus. The lack of a tail in a coma in Oumuamua led astronomers to speculate about its composition. Leading theory suggested the sublimation of hydrogen or nitrogen ice from other solar systems as a possible explanation. Interstellar objects are launched into space due to the gravitational influence of gas giants or by massive collisions that tear apart protoplanets. As the first known interstellar visitor, Oumuamua provided valuable information about the nature of other planetary systems. In addition, its shape was unusual, although initially thought to be 10 times as long as it was wide, later measurements indicated that it was more pancake-like in shape. The minor planet Arrokoth, explored by NASA's New Horizons probe in 2019, is one of several similarly shaped objects observed in the Kuiper Belt. Oumuamua's brightness, observed through changes in its luminosity, was used to determine its dimensions and shape. Although the exact star system from which Oumuamua originated is unknown, in 2018, researchers traced its trajectory back to its original path to the Sun, discovering that it passed close to four stars, with HIP 3757, a red dwarf, being its closest encounter. Oumuamua's hyperbolic trajectory indicates that its velocity as it approached the Sun was so high that it was barely affected by solar gravity, allowing it to continue its trajectory away from our solar system. Oumuamua was discovered more than a month later, on October 19, 2017, by University of Hawaii astronomer Robert Werick, through observations made by the Pan-Star system. At the time, Oumuamua was 21 million miles from Earth, and its closest point brought it to within about 15 million miles. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching.